Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, what we have in this case, we have x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 10y minus 7 equals 0. And what they're asking us to do is find the center and the radius of the circle and then sketch the graph. All right? So what we're going to have to do for this problem um, is what we're going to simply do is we need to first be able to determine if it's in our um, standard form of our equation of a circle. So remember, standard form of equation of a circle looked like this. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, right? Yes? Does this look anything like that? Because once it's like this, it's pretty easy. We know that the center of the circle all right, is h comma k, and the radius is equal to r. So as long as we can get it in this format, determining what the center and the radius is is pretty simple, correct? Do you guys agree? OK, so now what we need to do is we need to figure out how are we going to take it from this format to this format. And there's a little bit of process that we started off the class with, which we call, which we call completing the, completing the square, exactly. And notice, we're going to have to go ahead and do it twice, all right? So x squared plus 4x plus y squared minus 10y minus 7 equals 0. All right? OK? So what we're simply going to do now is so I, what I did is I just rewrote it. I'm sorry, that's, yeah. So what I did is I rewrote it with my x's next to each other and my y's next to each other. So now what I can go ahead and do, all right? Kevin, you got this one? Good. So now what I can go and do is now complete the square for each one of these terms. Well, I need to determine, is there any, if there is a term in front of my quadratic, then I have to factor it out. Fortunately for us, we don't have any terms in front of our quadratics, right? So we're good. So we'll, now I can just fact, take this, and we're going to complete this square. So I'll take my b divided by my 2, which is 4 divided by 2 squared, which equals 4. four. And then over here, over here, I take my b divided by 2, which is my negative 10 divided by 2, and I square it, which then is going to equal 25. OK? Got it? All right. So now, remember, we add each one of those into our components. So I have x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus y squared minus 10y um, plus 25. I started the x squared. When we complete the square, what we do is we now have taken a binomial and created a perfect square trinomial. All right, but it's important that since we added the 4, we have to make sure that we either subtract it on the same side or add the 4 to the other side, right? Because it's an equation. So if you introduce by adding a 4 on one side, you have to make sure you add it on the other side or the equation is not going to be equal anymore. So then I have to do the exact same thing for 25. Now, to help this problem along, if you guys notice, in our general format, it's just x minus h squared plus y minus k squared, right? There's no other room for this minus 7. So what I'm also going to do is add the 7 to the other side. Okay, So I'm going to get all the numbers to the other side, except for my x and my y's in the perfect square trinomials. Now the whole reason why we, again, complete the square is, one, to create a perfect square trinomial, all right, and then two, to be able to create a binomial squared. So here we're going to have x plus 2 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals 4 plus 25 is 29, plus 7 is going to be 36. Now we know our h and our k, and we know our radius is going to be r. All right? Wait. So therefore, yes? No, since you're adding it to the left side, I'm adding it to, over to the right side. Oh, okay, okay. OK? Can we wait two seconds? So I don't cancel out? No, you, they cancel each other out on the equation. When you add the one to the left side and add it to the right side, they, they can counter out the balance of the equation. Right? So therefore, our center is going to be negative 2, 5. And then our radius is going to equal 6. Because remember, it says, it equals r cubed, or r squared. Well, 36 is what squared, which is r, which is 6. OK? 
All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you with some time.